June 3rd, 2022. Habcast 306. Episode 306. Let's go. Of course, I have a few things to share with you guys. An evening of reflection. Shall we? Texas man allegedly destroys more than $5 million worth of art because he's mad at girlfriend. Whatever happened to just finding another girlfriend? (laughs) It's a lot cheaper. Texas man riled up by a fight with his girlfriend, busted into a Greek museum, and took his anger out on the artwork destroying more than $5 million worth of ancient artifacts. $5 million. Van Gogh cut his own ear off, and it's still not worth $5 million. The chaos unfolded inside the Dallas Museum of Art on Wednesday around 10 p.m. when Brian Hernandez forcibly entered the building. Fox 4 reported the 21-year-old vandal was taken into custody a short time later and booked on Thursday into the Dallas County Jail on charges of criminal mischief of more than or equal to $300,000. If convicted, he faces up to five years in prison. I don't know, guys, but somehow I don't think five years in prison is going to bring him any closer to his girlfriend. (laughs) Hernandez allegedly broke into a display case and destroy a 6th century B.C. Greek amphora and a Greek pot dating to 450 B.C. during his rampage. He also smashed a bowl from 6th century B.C. worth about $100,000 and a ceramic Caddo effigy bottle value at about $10,000. A responding security guard later told authorities that when he asked Hernandez his motive, He claimed he flew into a rage over his relationship problems. (laughs) His bond was set at $100,000. I don't know. Join the gym, read a book, nail one of her hot friends. All I'm saying is that this is self-destructive behavior. And if someone makes you this angry that you have to do this as an alternative, it's not good. You can be on the podcast for a lot of other reasons (laughs) besides destroying art. Woman charged after claiming passenger always smells like marijuana (laughs) during traffic stop. Well, gee, buddy, thanks for letting the police do their job and figure out if they need to talk to me on their own. A Shinston woman is facing charges after police say officers smelled marijuana during a traffic stop, and she tried to tell them her passenger always smells like it. Thanks for that wonderful tidbit of information. Now let's mosey on over to the passenger side and have a look-see, shall we? On June 2nd, officers with the Shinston Police Department were patrolling the area of Pike Street in Shinston when they observed a vehicle with a busted-out driver's side window covered in non-see-through material passed by, according to a criminal complaint. I'm just picturing Christmas gift wrapping paper or something real out of pocket like a Trailer Park Boys t-shirt or something when officers <laughs> conducted a traffic stop. They made contact with the driver identified as Kylie Brock. Kylie, spelled C-Y-L-E-I-G-H in true Appalachian fashion. <laughs> Brock, 34 of Shinston, who did not have a driver's license, proof of insurance, and also had a fake registration sticker Officer said. I knew there was something wrong with this story when the first thing she did was try to throw her passenger under the bus. While conducting the stop, officers smelt the burnt odor of marijuana emanating from the vehicle, especially from the non-see-through material that was covering her driver's side window when she went to go poke through it to address the officer at which point Brock stated that the vehicle's passenger always smelled like marijuana. Wow. According to the complaint, a probable cause search of the vehicle resulted in officers locating 8.5 grams 
of a crystal-like substance or presume methamphetamine. Oh, I'm sure your presumption is correct, officer. Multiple drug paraphernalia devices, multiple bags, multiple pieces of tinfoil, and $395, officer said. Brock has been charged with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance. As of Friday morning, she was still being held in North Central Regional Jail. And despite all that, they still didn't find any marijuana. More of the story is before you try to tell on somebody else, make sure your own shit is in order. All back to Jersey. New Jersey man charged after his mom tips off cops about school shooting threats. Yeah, my son, the grown ass man that lives in my basement, he's calling up the school threatening children. I'm sure that made your mother very proud. A 32 year old grown ass 32 year old Asbury Park man was arrested after his mother told police he planned to shoot up a school, authorities said. William Bailey was found in the city's municipal parking lot at about 9.40 a.m., 20 minutes after cops were tipped off about the threat and began looking for him, Asbury Park police said in a statement. By then, schools in Asbury Park had already been locked down, authorities said. Bailey had earlier sent his mother a message referencing last week's mass shooting in Ovalde, Texas, in which an 18-year-old man killed 19 students and two teachers. So let me get this straight. A 32-year-old man was so inspired by the actions of an 18-year-old lunatic that he told his mom that he finally figured out what he wanted to do with the rest of his life, which probably would have been suicide by a cop. Bailey, who had a warrant for his arrest in Plainfield, oh, he's just padding the stats, was taken to an area hospital to be evaluated, he was charged with making terroristic threats. Airport officials discover over 23 pounds of cocaine hidden in wheelchair. <laughs> if you're in customs, how do you justify that stop to the Americans with disabilities people? Well, the wheelchair was sitting a little high and leaning to the right. We just had to trust our gut. Airport officials sees more than 23 pounds of cocaine hidden inside an electric wheelchair. 23 pounds is a little bit under 10 and a half kilos at an airport in Charlotte, North Carolina. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers, an arriving passenger at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport was encountered while utilizing the electric wheelchair on Tuesday. So you're in public with a ton of people watching who don't know what's going on, and you got to tell someone, I'm going to need you to step off the wheelchair, sir. <laughs> now, in the 2022 fiscal year, CBP officers have seized more than 34,700 pounds of cocaine inside the United States. Business is booming. CBP also reported seizing more than 100,000 pounds of methamphetamines and 89,300 pounds of marijuana. Somebody's up for re-election. In 2021, CBP officers seized a total of 914,000 pounds of illegal drugs, including nearly 97,000 pounds of cocaine. In 2020, CBP seized more than 1.1 million pounds worth of illegal drugs, including 58,000 pounds of cocaine. Alexander Lopez Morel, 22, reportedly arrived off a flight from the Dominican Republic DR when he was encountered by CBP officers. After further inspection of the wheelchair, CBP officers discovered packages concealed inside the seat cushions. The substance tested positive for cocaine, officers said. Officials discovered a total of four packages containing over 23 pounds of cocaine, an estimated street value of 300 $78,000, according to officials. The wheelchair looks like somebody motorized the passenger seat of a Dodge Caravan <laughs> and put an Atari joystick on one of the arm bars. <laughs> this seizure demonstrates the dynamic border environment in which CBP officers operate and CLT CBP Area Port Director Charlotte Barry Chastain said, 
or officer. Somebody's always running for another year or another contract or another election, another term or something. You did a good job, okay? Our officers are determined to adapt and respond to these threats in an effort to stop narcotics reaching our communities. Lopez Morel was arrested by CBP officers and charged with felony trafficking and cocaine. The seized cocaine was turned over to several agencies for further investigation. Feels good to be back. Fun show. Fun show. Fun show. That being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'll be sure to talk to you guys very, very soon. Adios.